This is a very exciting meeting uh, here on CAR T cells. Um, at this point, um, you know, we've entered the century of 2020, and I think um, we can frame what's the most exciting developments in, in this year. The, the year will be the uh, approvals in the United States of uh, myeloma CAR T cells. Uh, myeloma is the most common blood cancer in, uh, in Europe and the United States. And um, it's generally incurable, and it also is the most expensive cancer to take care of in the United States in that it's 2% of all cancers, but it takes 7% of all our financial resources that we spend in cancer care. And that's because people live a long time and then die after 8 to 10 years. So it's both a horribly debilitating disease and then one with an ultimately uh, really bad outcome. So if we had a a curative therapy, even if it's an expensive one, it will be cheaper than what we currently have. Where I am at the University of Pennsylvania, the patients on average spend $12,000 uh, per month on therapy. And so if they're on therapy for 10 years, it's millions of dollars. So, so we need uh, therapies that are uh, curative and also uh, less expensive. And that's what we'll need. Now, I think over this next decade, that's what will happen. It's going to take, unfortunately, uh, a decade probably so that the cost of manufacturing CAR T cells becomes completely automated. Right now, the most expensive part of making CAR T cells is human labor. So if it could be done in, you know, with robots in machines, then the cost will come down dramatically. So the major issue is getting solid tumors treated. Right now, almost all blood cancers have very successful CAR therapies that have been shown at this meeting. We still need major advances in um, the solid cancers like lung cancer and pancreatic cancer. But it's very exciting to see hundreds of laboratories working on that at this time.